The Haddock Committee Chairman warns oil companies and stakeholders who continually fail to honor the committee's invitation of their consequences. He said this during the ongoing investigation into the volume of fuel consumed daily in the country. It is the continuation of an ongoing investigation to unravel sharp practices in the oil distribution and consumption process in the country. The chairman of the other committee, Honorable Abdul Qadir Sahad, says the ongoing investigation will assist the government in a fiscal policy as well as show actual amount expended on subsidy yearly. In recent times, we all uh, were all witnesses to the claims by the NMPC on the issue of under recovery because some months it turns out that they are contributing zero to the federation account on the basis that the money is being used to under recover uh, the difference, the differential between the landing cost of the petroleum products and the approved selling price. So now quantity, unless we know the amount we are consuming, we can't establish the actual uh, uh, money that is used to um, subsidize the petroleum product. The first seven months of 2022 so far, this year, from our records, um, 12.3 million metric tons have been imported into Nigeria. 12.3 million PMS. Yeah, PMS. For, for this year. So first seven months. First seven months. 12.3. But from 2015 to to date, 202.9 million metric tons. And this is from all sources. From all sources, NM, NMPC, PPMC, and the OMTC. We need vessels allocation letters received from NMPC, showing vessel approved for loading from 15, 2015 to date. Number two, we need records of PMS seized from 2015 to date with locations and particulars of the vessels. Number three, records of auction PMS, amount, quantity, particulars of auctioneers, proof of payment to the National Treasury. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.